Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the circles. You have defined the circle before in geometry as a shape. This time, we will dig deeper about this as a conic section. The circle is a set of points on the coordinate plane that are of equal distance from a fixed point. The fixed point is called the center of the circle and the equal distance is called the radius. Point A here denotes the center of the circle and segment AB denotes the radius. An equation of a circle can be written in general and in standard form. The general form of the equation of a circle is given by ax squared plus ay squared plus bx plus cy plus d equals 0, where a, b, c, d are elements of real numbers. Remember that we can say that an equation represents a circle if the numerical coefficients of x squared and y squared are equal. Moreover, the standard form of the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared when the center of the circle is at the origin or at 0, 0. On the other hand, if the center of the circle is not at the origin, then the standard form of the circle is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared, wherein h, the value of h, and the value of k represents the coordinates of the center. And the square root of r squared is the radius of the circle. It is easier to graph and visualize a circle if the equation is given in standard form. In the following examples, we will rewrite equations from general form to standard form and determine the center and radius of a circle. For the first example, we write the equation x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 4y minus 4 equals 0 to standard form and determine the center and radius of the circle. To rewrite a general form of an equation in standard form, we first regroup our given equation. What do we do? We first regroup the terms according to variables and isolate the constant term to the right side of the equation. Therefore, we will have x squared minus 2x plus y squared plus 4y equals positive 4. Once again, we regroup our terms according to the variable. So we write these two terms together and these two terms together. And then the constant here was isolated on the right side of the equation. Next thing to do is completing the square. By the way, do not forget to write open and close parentheses here as grouping to represent these two as groups. Remember when we do completing the square, we make this binomial as a perfect square trinomial. To do that, we divide the numerical coefficient of x by 2, then square the answer. So when we do that, negative 2 divided by 2 equals negative 1. Then we square this. So negative 1 squared will give us positive 1. Therefore, this binomial will become x squared minus 2x plus 1. Again, write the open and close parentheses. Do the same thing for this binomial here. Since we have 4 here, then this will become 4 divided by 2 equals 2, then squared the answer. So it will give us 4. So therefore, our perfect square trinomial will become 
y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals 4. However, since we added 1 and 4 on the left side of the equation, we also need to add 1 and 4 to the right side of our equation. Remember, what you have added on the left side should be added on the right side as well. Next, we factor the two perfect square trinomials here. Recall that the factors of x squared minus 2x plus 1 are x minus 1 times x minus 1. Copy the plus sign, then factor this perfect square trinomial as well. The factors of y squared plus 4y plus 4 are y plus 2 times another y plus 2. And then we simplify this. It will give us 9. Moreover, since the factors are the same, we may write our equation in this manner. x minus 1 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared equals 9. Therefore, this is already the equation in standard form. Since this is already the equation in standard form, remember that the equation in standard form is given to be x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Therefore, we can see here that the value of h equals positive 1 since we have x minus 1 and then x minus h. On the other hand, since we have here positive 2 here, but on the formula we have y minus k, it only follows that k equals negative 2. And since r squared is equal to 9, when we get the square root, we get r equals 3. Note that the center of a circle is at h comma k. So we can say now that the center of this circle is at 1 comma negative 2 and the radius is equal to 3 units. Before we show the graph of our circle, let us recall the process that we have done in rewriting the given equation from general form to standard form. First, we regroup our terms and isolate the constant term to the right side of the equation. Second, we do completing the square to these two binomials here. Remember that we also added the same values that we added to the left side to the right side of our equation. Third, we factored these trinomials. And since the factors are the same, we express the factors as a square of a binomial. Finally, in determining the center of the circle, we identified the values of h and k by changing the signs since the formula here involves subtraction. Also, we get the square root of the constant here to get the radius of the circle. Remember what we have solved earlier. We have solved that the center of our circle is at 1 comma negative 2 and the radius is equal to 3 units. Therefore, looking at this graph, notice that the radius is 3 units and our center is on the fourth quadrant. Let us have another example. We write the equation x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 equals 0 to standard form and determine the center and radius of the circle. Again, to rewrite this equation in standard form, the first thing to do is regroup the terms of the equation and isolate the constant term to the right side of the equation. Thus, we will have 
x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 4y equals positive 12. Next thing to do, do completing the square on this binomial and this binomial. In doing that, we divide by 2 the numerical coefficient of x and square the answer. So, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 and negative 3 squared is positive 9. So, this binomial will become x squared minus 6x plus 9. Do the same thing on this one. So, positive 4 divided by 2 is 2, then squared is 4. So, you will have y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals, well, again, what we have added here should be added here as well. So, this should be plus 9 and then plus 4. Next thing to do, factor this trinomial and this trinomial. Remember that the factors of x squared minus 6x plus 9 are x minus 3 and another x minus 3. Copy the plus. The factors of y squared plus 4y plus 4 are y plus 2 times another y plus 2. And then, get the sum that is equal to 25. Once again, since the factors are the same, we can express this as a square of a binomial. So, we can write it as x minus 3 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared equals 25. So, this is already the equation in standard form. From here, we can easily determine the values of h and k. So, remember that the standard form is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. So, therefore, h here equals 3, k here is equal to negative 2, and then r is equal to 5 because square root of 25 is 5. Finally, the center of our circle is at 3, comma negative 2, and the radius is equal to 5 units. Plotting the center and the radius of the circle, we can see that the center of it is on the fourth quadrant. So this is the center of our circle. And once again, the radius is equal to 5 units. I hope that you have understood the lesson. And for the next video, we will discuss about finding the equation of a circle. Thank you and see you on the next discussion.